Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at ThieveDiets.com how to make an easy, slow cooker barbecued beef. Now barbecued beef is not usually considered a healthy meal per se, but this version's a little better for you than most. Between the lean beef and grated vegetables that'll virtually pull a disappearing act in the homemade barbecued sauce, you don't really need to feel guilty about having this. I'm also going to show you a quick coleslaw to top that sandwich off. Cabbage is in the cruciferous family, so you'll get a multitude of benefits that'll make this even healthier. The ingredients we'll need are two pounds of lean chuck roast cut into two inch pieces, one medium zucchini, a large carrot, an apple, all grated, and a medium onion finely diced. We'll also need some salt and pepper to taste. And for the sauce we'll need one half cup of ketchup, a half cup of applesauce, a quarter cup of cider vinegar, two tablespoons of steak sauce, two tablespoons of honey, three tablespoons of gluten-free soy sauce, one tablespoon of hot sauce, and a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And you'll need a half a cup of water to thin the sauce down. All right, to make the sauce, just stir together all the sauce ingredients and set it aside. Now to load up the crock pot, stir together the zucchini, apple, carrot, and onion, and toss it into the bottom of the crock pot. Add the beef with some salt and pepper to taste, and pour over the sauce. Then cover it up and set the crock pot to low and let it cook for eight to 10 hours. After about the first two hours, you might want to skim off any scum that rises to the top. If you won't be around to do this step, I'd suggest starting with meat that's already been browned prior to adding it to the pot. All right, now if you want to make the coleslaw, I used two cups of shredded cabbage, one carrot cut into matchstick pieces, a minced pickled jalapeno, and two chopped scallions. And for the dressing, I combined two tablespoons of light mayo, one tablespoon of cider vinegar, a tablespoon of the pickling liquid from the jalapenos, and a teaspoon of honey, with some salt, pepper, and Old Bay seasoning to taste. Once the dressing was mixed, I tossed it with the veggies, put it into a smaller bowl, covered it up, and popped it in the fridge. Don't worry if it looks a little dry. The vegetables are going to release their liquid and loosen the whole thing up. Now when the beef is done, raise the crock pot temperature to high, remove the beef, shred it up, and return it to the pot to simmer uncovered until the sauce has reduced to a consistency that you're happy with. And then it's ready to serve. Now since there were no gluten-free buns at the store today, I resorted to grilling a few slices of gluten-free whole grain bread before piling on the succulent beef and tangy slaw. Now I made two pounds of beef today, but in all honesty, there was enough sauce and room in the crock pot to have made twice that amount. So making this for a crowd is an awesome idea. Couldn't you just see it piled up on those little slider buns? Maybe I should get busy trying to formulate a recipe for that. I hope you'll give this a try and let me know how you made out. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.